welcome back to Fishing with Andre. And today we're on a back lake here in Ontario and we're gonna rip some lips. I'm just gonna set up a tip up here close up to shore. What I'm doing first is I'm just cleaning out the hole. I just got done putting the auger through it. So I like to clean it out good. Big reason is it's cold out and I don't have a cover for my hole so the hole freezes up. The only thing different that I gotta do is just check your tip up more often so the, height, the hole doesn't get frozen over. Obviously have your flasher. Gives you an idea of what depth we're at. So when you throw your nice little tip up here down in the water, you know exactly at what depth we're fishing and where they're at. All right guys, so we're gonna make a move here. We've been here for a couple hours now and I got a couple marks, but it's not biting really good. So we're gonna pick up and move to another spot, hit up a different location and uh, we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned everyone. Hey guys, we're hooked up. I think we got ourselves a lager. Oh yeah. This is a good fish. Quiet forever and then finally boom, fish come in. Nice head shakes. He's rolling now. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm hooked around the tail. I'm gonna have to be careful here. He's wrapped around the tail. I gotta pull him out. Oh! Alright guys, so a quick update. It is now 12.30. We were just talking to uh, another fellow angler here and he gave us a little tip on something. And it kind of sparked our interest, uh, Connor and I. Basically Connor was fishing, we're fishing for lake trout and Connor was reeling up and uh, lake trout come from 60 feet all the way up to 15 or 14 feet and it hit it. But we didn't know if it was an actual tail slap or a bite. And what Robin was saying is lake trout will actually attack, come up, and tail slap or bump with their heads and like stun their prey and then as it flutters back down they come back and eat it and it kind of piqued our interest because that's exactly what happened to Connor a while ago but we didn't let it flutter it just disappeared it wouldn't come back for the bite so that's what we were thinking what happened is it hit it it was waiting but it didn't flutter so it just left right away so man something to think about different tactics when we're fishing out here <laughs> sunset I don't think it's a big guy but he raced up he was hungry he's just coming up he's right there he's right at the bottom of the hole here he is nice little laker to finish the day yeehaw guys all right guys it's been a heck of a day and uh I've been talking a lot about Connor, so I figured let's have a little uh, quick skit here with Connor so you guys can get a quick look at him. Uh, he's the guy behind the camera. I just missed the bite. I'm sorry. Okay, back to the camera. <laughs> um, just to see the face, he's got this new pretty badass camera and wanted to try it out. So we figured we'd do a little episode of Fishing with Andre here on the back lake in Ontario. Uh, we were pretty successful. Uh, we caught a couple fish and uh, we had a good Decent time yeah. and uh, we couldn't ask for a better day. It was awesome. Uh, what do you think, Connor? The weather was perfect. Oh man, like it was... It could have been better. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when it's sunny like that, it's really junk for ice fishing, but I enjoy it because it's the weekend and we're out ice fishing and couldn't ask for better. And no wind, so it wasn't too cold. Yeah, that's it. So we had the heat on, so we were able to go outside and hit a couple different holes and then come back. And So we're moving around and trying different places, trying different depths and seeing what's biting. All right, so that concludes this episode of Fishing with Andre. I hope you guys enjoyed. We had some fun, we were successful. We iced two uh, nice Lakers, uh, harvested uh, one. We're gonna bring her back home, and have some nice fillets and cook that up. And I uh, just want to thank Connor for coming out today. It was awesome. Uh, one thing I don't like doing is coming out on the ice by myself. So 
always good to have a partner. So stay tuned, tight lines, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button.